Michi Raheb is the founder and president of Dar El Kalima University College of Arts and Culture in Bethlehem. He was born at Bethlehem and served as the pastor of Christmas Lutheran Church in Bethlehem from 1987 until 2017. Dr. Raheb served as the president of the Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land from 2011 to 2016. His education includes a BA from the Hermannsburg Mission Seminary, Germany, an MA and PhD from the Department for Protestant Theology at Phillips University at Marburg, Germany, and postdoctoral research at Harvard Seminary, at Hartford Seminary in the United States. Dr. Raheb is fluent in Arabic, German, and English, and has translation skills in ancient Hebrew, Greek, Latin, Aramaic, and Coptic. Throughout his career, Raheb has worked tirelessly for the social and cultural uplift of Palestinians, both Christians and Muslims. The author of more than 40 books and many other publications, Raheb has become a major theological voice for peace in the Holy Land and for Palestinian liberation. <laughs> his written work has been translated into 11 languages. As a theologian, pastor, educator, and innovative social entrepreneur, Raheb's genius has focused on what fosters life and freedom in the midst of situations of oppression and conflict, including education in music, dance, the visual arts, the culinary arts, and film. Dr. Raheb's work has been recognized nationally, regionally, and internationally. Among his international awards are the Charles Wink Award from the European Academy of Arts and Science, the Olaf Palma Prize for a future Middle East characterized by peaceful coexistence and equality for all, the German Media Prize for tireless work in creating room for hope for his people who are living under Israeli occupation, the International Mohammed Nafi Shalevi Peace Award of the Central Islam Archive in Germany, the German Peace Award of Aachen, and the Wittenberg Award from the Luther Center in D.C. Dr. Raheb has been a strong advocate for Palestinian rights, self-determination, and statehood at several parliaments, including the United States Congress, German Bundestag, European Union, and the Scandinavian and Dutch parliaments. He brings hope to the Palestinian people by framing their story through the lens of the liberating gospel of Jesus and by providing social and cultural support for their common life, particularly through his successful fundraising. Pastor Rahel has met regularly with Warburg Theological Seminary students as a part of the Holy Land J-Term course. He instructs with his knowledge and perspective and inspires with his commitment and conviction. Warburg Theological Seminary gives thanks to God for the Reverend Dr. Michi Rohit and for the many ways in which he serves the church and the world. The faculty and the board of directors of Warburg Theological Seminary count it a privilege to bestow upon him the degree Doctor of Divinity Honoris Causa with all the privileges and responsibilities that pertain to that degree. Dr. Rohit, God grant you peace and blessings for your continued ministry.
fact, I find it a bit interesting that from the three that are receiving uh, this uh, honorary doctorate, uh, I'm the one who is here in person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming all the way from Bethlehem. <laughs> Not Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, but I mean, <laughs> the real one. Uh, but uh, I think this award is for me, this, this another doctorate is, is a sign of our partnership. I remember uh, my uh, visit to World Rock uh, Seminary several times, but also, as you mentioned, uh, the trips uh, that the students have been doing over the years, and I look forward for the next January uh, trip uh, in 2023. And for me, this uh, doctorate is an honor because uh, I believe that World Rock Seminary is one of the finest theological seminaries in this country. Because it brings tradition and innovation at the same time together. You will not find any other seminary that has innovation so highly uh, and boldly uh, talking about. But also it brings the global, and I think my presence here is part of that, without forgetting the rural Midwest. And what I love is the focus on contextual theology, which I think this is so important this, in this age, and leadership knowledge. You know, uh, we live in a very messy world today. We heard it yesterday, the pandemic, the Ukraine uh, war, uh, the shooting yesterday uh, in New York, Buffalo, uh, the shooting of the Palestinian journalist uh, three days ago by Israeli uh, soldiers. Uh, if you see all of this, you really cannot be optimistic. But what I believe is that there is a big difference between optimism and hope. Optimism is to believe somehow that the world will get better somehow. But, you know, we have been living in Palestine in a messy world for the last hundred years. What the Ukrainians are really experiencing now is what we have been experiencing. And so how can you hold to hope when everything around you go in a different direction? And for me, the world of Martin Luther uh, became so important. Uh, he said, at least it's attributed to him. He said, even if I knew that the world is coming to an end tomorrow, and I think this is sometimes the feeling that we have in this age. He said, I will go out today into the garden and plant an olive tree. I mean, he spoke about the apple tree as a good German. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we contextualize it with the apple tree. And, 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 uh, and um, I think this is what also Wilhelm Löw, who actually started uh, Wartburg Seminary thought because he was living in a messy world in the 19th century Germany with lots of needs and lots of changes and his theology inspired him to become a social entrepreneur and I think what our experience in Palestine is that hope has to be translated into social entrepreneurship so hope is not anymore what we see coming at us, but hope is what we do. And dear graduates, you are the hope of this church, you are, you are the hope of this country with what you will do and be bold as social entrepreneurs and God bless you. Thank you.